pristine Antarctic ecosystems are being polluted by tiny plastic particles. That we know. What we don't yet know is how much plastic is making its way there, the type of plastic, its origin, and how this pollution affects the Antarctic and its inhabitants. Two IAEA scientists set out to use nuclear science to improve our knowledge and are working with partners to identify what can be done to stop the pollution. The experts spent a month collecting hundreds of seawater samples, picking mollusks and gathering penguin droppings from various sites. The pioneering research expedition was the agency's first to Antarctica. IAEA Director General Rafael Mariano Grossi launched the Antarctic project alongside Argentinian President Javier Millet when they travelled to the continent in early 2024. Microplastics can affect Antarctic wildlife and their resilience to climate change. They can also speed up ice loss, deepening the devastating global impact of polar ice melt. The samples were prepared for transportation at an Argentinian Antarctic base and then sent to the IAEA's Marine Environment Laboratories in Monaco to analyse how much plastic is present in Antarctica and identify the main source of this pollution. This is part of the IAEA's New Tech Plastics Initiative, which analyzes marine microplastic pollution globally. This data helps countries understand the source of the pollution, so they can find ways to stop it. <laughs>